hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to make a radiating room heater with simple materials around without using any rivet or weld just by gluing everything together i'm going to use 0.38 millimeter aluminium sheet to make the frame of the heater and i'm going to use a ceramic rod heating element which has nichrome wire wrapped around it this heating element is 1 kilowatts To make the shapes, I am going to use stencils to draw the frame outline on the aluminium sheet metal. The design is a parabolic trough design which is good for reflecting the infrared radiation from the heating element out in the front which feels like sitting in front of fire. The length of the parabolic trough should be slightly longer than the heating element itself so that it can be suspended in the middle without touching the sides of the metal. Now as all the measurements were completed, it was time to cut it. After cutting was completed, the sheet needs to be folded like so. I used a plastic pipe as a guide to fold the arch. Before gluing the side flaps with the epoxy glue, I used some tape to stick it to its place. I'm going to apply the glue from the inside. Here I'm using two part epoxy glue that can handle high temperature. I'm not sure up to what degree Celsius but we'll see. After the epoxy dried I removed all the tapes and found out that the frame was a bit flimsy probably because of the thin aluminium sheet so I decided to reinforce it with aluminium wire arches similar to the one I used for measurements. I used sticky tape to stick all the arches in its place and used a little bit of super glue to keep it in its place. Then I glued some more aluminium wire perpendicular to the arches creating this pattern. Finally I applied epoxy which increased the structural strength. After the trough is ready, I needed to mount the heating element in the center so that it's electrically isolated from the frame. My plan is to use something made of ceramic to electrically isolate it. I'm using here floor tiles as they are ceramic as well. Two metal strips glued to the tiles will hold the heating element in the air and the tiles will be glued in the frame. Wires insulated with fiberglass sleeve will carry 220 volt AC to the heating element. Here you can see how the metal strips are glued to the ceramic tiles with epoxy glue.
For additional safety, I decided to glue fiberglass in the sides as well for more electrical isolation and accidental contact of live wire with the body. After that I glued the ceramic tiles to the frame with epoxy and then kept it to set overnight. Here you can see how it looks with the heating element after the glue dried. I tested it for electrical isolation with the help of a series connected bulb and it was perfect. After that I drilled two holes for the electrical connections and connected the wires with the heating elements through fiberglass leaf. I hooked it up with a 220 volt AC supply and it works fine. The electrical isolation is also working perfectly as I didn't get any electrical shock upon touching it. The pliers are used here to keep it in a slightly tilting position for the wires to have clearance. Now the only thing left is making the grill and the stand. To make the grill I am using aluminium wire as well. I glued all the wires in a crisscross pattern with epoxy glue and after it dried I started making the stand. To make the stand I used aluminium strips and I made a diagonal cut in such a way that it will make the stand when glued together. The stand is not adjustable and I found out that it doesn't need to be adjusted as the heat radiation is in wide angle. Like every other appliances it also needs to be grounded so to do that I made a hole in the middle and attached a wire with a screw. This wire will be connected with the third pin in our plug for ground connection. Safety should be our number one priority. I have also packed the hole through which the wires comes out with fiberglass for more electrical isolation. Here you can see I have applied a little epoxy glue at the base of the wire so that it doesn't move much. Now the last thing left is to fasten the wires. I used the same aluminium strip that I used for making the stand and after giving the proper shape required I glued it right above the ground connection screw. Initially I used super glue to fix it and then I used epoxy to finally glue it. I glued the wires on the aluminium strip like so with of course fiberglass sheet to isolate it from the aluminium.
The wire is of correct power rating and made of fire resistive material. So guys this is how you can make a room heater at home. I hope you enjoyed this video if so then hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you are new then subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in my next one.